Hello, David Allen here from tipsytexan.com with a drink that changed the world. Not quite, but it did change the way the martini was consumed in America. 1953, Ian Fleming publishes Casino Royale, a James Bond novel. Bond goes to the bar and he says, I want a cocktail with three parts gin, one part vodka, and half a part of Kino Lale. Well, that doesn't sound that interesting, does it? But it kind of is because traditionally the martini was a gin drink and what Bond did was introduced vodka into the martini. Let's see how he did it. Three measures, he said, of gin. I'm gonna use one and a half ounces. And then he asked for one measure of vodka or half an ounce. Half a measure of Kina Lille. We don't have Kina Lille anymore, but we do have Lille Blanc, which will work. Half a measure, or a quarter of an ounce. This is basically functioning as the vermouth in a traditional martini. We're gonna fill the glass with ice, as we would with any martini. But what's interesting about the Vesper is that Bond said, I want it shaken, not stirred. Traditionally, we would stir the gin martini, but we're gonna shake the Vesper. Then he asked that we strain it into a deep champagne goblet. And garnish it with a thin slice of lemon peel. We're gonna express the oil out of the peel and onto the surface of the drink. And that's the Vesper Martini, the martini that changed the world.